How to use Microwave Office to perform load pool simulation. First, we open a schematic and then we select in the UMS libraries the PPH25X active component. Nonlinear hotfet model device is inserted between two ideal tuners, which are tuner with bias T. So the transistor is connected to the tuners. We use a uh, eight fingers of 100 micrometer device. The input power is uh, swept from 0 to 16 dBm and the transistor is biased at 8 volt in AB class. The frequency is changed in the project option window to 10 gigs. And so we are ready to launch the simulation in order to get the output power and the power added efficiency versus the input power. Okay, this is the output power and the power added efficiency. So now I'm going to match the input through this tune tool, which is very helpful tool, which allow to select magnitude and phase, and then through the variable tuner, I can directly change the values of the magnitude and the phase of the input tuner. So I can optimize the matching, input matching, or for low, low level gain, or for power. I can do the same for the output. I select magnitude and phase of the output tuner, so now I have four parameters for the matching, and then I can tune in order to get the maximum power added efficiency or in order to get the maximum power level which is close to 29 dBm so which is 1 watt per millimeter or I can also try to find the best trade-off between the power and the power added efficiency So I will now run the load pool simulation. First I will um, use the values previously calculated for the input tuner in order to perform load pool on the output matching. For that I use a wizard load pool option which specify the schematic with the tuner, which tuner has to be tuned and the output file for the data. I run the simulation and the data are calculated for each point of this uh, Smith chart. At the end of the calculation the curves for the power level are automatically calculated. So I can directly identify the position of the output matching for the maximum power. I can also add the same curves for the power added efficiency. and then I can directly compare the position for the matching for power added efficiency or for power. 
So it shows how a microwave office is powerful for power simulation.